Can you guys see me and hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We can hear you. You keep popping in and out video wise. That's okay. We were just saying, uh, you look, you look good. You didn't have to do, uh, you didn't have to do your hair or put on, put on clothes for the <laughs> interview. I hope you didn't. I hope there's something <laughs> on that forced you to get up and get dressed this morning. Trust me. You do not want to see me without my hair done. And with the shirt <laughs> off. Oh, you don't want to see that. It's terrible well, no, news. No one's at the studio but me. So I, I have a t-shirt on and that's, that's it. You never know. <laughs> I know they made us social distance, that. so I'm at home. Yeah. Good morning. How do you like that? You guys like Yeah, I love it. Great. She's never going to go back when we're done uh, with social distance. No. Like, you know <laughs> Can you imagine that? That'd be amazing. <laughs> I, I I'm trying to get your iced coffee. Queen and and Say it one more time. I'm sorry. I said I'm getting cabin fever, just staying in the house all the time. Aw, yeah. well, for to change. Yeah. before anybody else does it, happy birthday. Hey, thank you, guys. Oh, Appreciate winner, you beat, beat me to it. Happy, happy birthday. I knew you were going to do it. Happy birthday. <laughs> is, well, is this what you wish for, to, to get to do interviews on your, on your special day? Well, His birthday is not until Friday. It's, it's not till Friday, but it's, um, but yeah, doing... Hey, dude, there's there's nothing else to do. You know what I mean? There really is nothing nothing else to do here. So, I just um, I don't know. I, I don't mind doing interviews. I've been outside a lot, and, but I think on Friday, I don't know what I'm gonna do for my birthday. Birthday. I think my manager called me this morning and said, "Hey, the Capitol, you know, which is my record label, wants to know if you want to do a writing session on that day." And I'm like, Let me "Why?" I'm not sure. <laughs> that's a tough question because I might just do it because I'm home all the time. What, what's gonna change, right? <laughs> uh, so what do you what do you got in the in the mug? I know it's it's got to be it's got to be coffee. Knowing knowing you, what are we, what are we drinking yeah. this morning? So I have coffee in here, but this is coffee I made yesterday, and I put in this one of them, this Jeff Ruby's container. It's called and and um because I couldn't I didn't have enough time. I got out of bed so late today because my kids had me up so early in the morning. I just kind of lounged in bed for a while, and um I didn't have time to make my green tea. I've been getting I've been doing matcha tea lattes every morning. Yes. That is Dude, the jam. It is. And you know what I've been doing, Rachel? I've been putting cacao powder in it. Ooh. I put so I, I put it so I buy the high well the highest grade that I feel like buying because it's pretty expensive. Uh, it's but mm -hmm. it's ceremonial grade, which is the best grade to buy of matcha tea, which is not cheap at all. But and then I went to Costco and I bought an organic bag of of cacao powder and I put turmeric and cinnamon. And I make yes. it with organic almond milk. And I'm telling you, but there's so many benefits. You know, cacao has a lot of benefits. Mm -hmm. And you know what I found out? Do you guys know the difference mm. between cacao and cocoa powder? Uh, um, no. No, is it cacao? Yeah, I don't. Is cocoa or are they two completely different, different things? They're the same. Uh, there's th it's the same thing coming from the same seed. But cocoa is heated up and it's uh, basically cooked. Cacao is raw. Oh, snap. And so, yeah, so there's, if you want cocoa, you know, it, um, it's basically like processed and cooked. If you want cacao, it's still got the flavanols and the antioxidants that haven't been cooked out of it. I didn't know that. I always was wondering what's the difference between cacao powder and co cocoa powder. So it's all comes from the same thing. See, what I, I didn't know, uh, is, uh, and I know it's not just like coffee and the extended world of beverages, but like, <laughs> You don't just, you don't just like, have my coffee this morning or my tea. Like you're gonna dive into it and really like know about what you're what you're putting into your body, which which is respectable. I don't uh, respectable. I don't I don't always do that research. I'm like, oh, I need something to wake me up. Uh, caffeine, go. That's all I need. I need it now. Well, you know, it, that's funny. You know, it's interesting. Is that I drink so much coffee and I still drink coffee. Like I thank God I made this because I don't have time to make my matcha tea today. But I'm glad I had this on hand to drink. But um, I started I. So I'm filming this TV show right now, and one of our episodes that we did was in this New York, in New York City, of this restaurant. And this the lady who's the owner of the restaurant, this young lady, she she's the one that got me into it. And she was, and she's like, you should need you need matcha. It's more healthier. And as I started researching it, man, I mean matcha. Listen, matcha tea is 137 times has 137 times more antioxidants than green tea by itself. Mm -hmm. And matcha tea is green tea. And it's just grounded up. Uh, green tea and it's in high proportions but it detoxifies your body it's good for your skin and I was like you know I, I kind of need that right now and it's and the caffeine 
processes through hours as opposed to caffeine coffee is just a punch in the face. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you get the jolt and then the, the crash a little bit. Can we just go back to the turmeric mm-hmm. that you put in it? Like I I was putting yeah. turmeric in our food and stuff and my husband's like, what are you doing? I'm like trying to keep us healthy. Calm down. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, like, so we actually feel like such a blob the last month. It's like I'm doing anything I can in the living room to, to sort of move around. But my wife makes amazing cookies and we're like, we're stuck in our, you know, small two bedroom apartment, not moving a whole lot. We're going for walks and stuff, but anything to, to make me feel a little bit healthier and less like a blob on the couch. I'm, I'm in. It's hard, but I've, I, I'm, I've put on the quarantine 15. And, and I'm trying oh. to just like back down from that right now. It, well, if you have it, it looks like, it looks like muscle. Well, I appreciate that. We'll, we'll just pretend it is. <laughs> <laughs> and that matcha, you know, that matcha will help you out. Don't worry about See, it. That's what I'm saying. Matcha helps you lose weight. Coffee mm-hmm. will make you want to eat more because of that caffeine crash. Just FYI. Annie, what's, it does. What, it's very what's true. It? with the cabin fever because you mentioned that and uh i i'm feeling it too i i know rachel's feeling it we, we talk about that on the show almost almost daily and and so what have what have you found is is helping with that um <laughs> boy how much can i say here <laughs> yeah. yeah just be you know and you can edit accordingly but i i you know i have my few friends that i trust you know and we keep tabs on each other and they come over Every once in a while, that's how I maintain this. <laughs> that's just the honest to God truth. Let's the, just talk about it. Shame and the judgment that will be cast upon you because more than two, one or two people are in your home. That's. I think it's okay. You know, we saw you singing with Natalie. Yeah. Green. It looked like you guys were keeping six plus feet. Well, you know, because here's the thing: fear has this profound effect on people, and if they fear that it could affect them, their health. Um, you know, I mean, that's. So fear, people are fearful and, and I'm not, I'm sure there's a healthy fear. You, know, you don't want to go play with fire because fire hurts. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like people are giving up all their rights and giving up everything. And it's just like, all right, guys, you know, and I love, that's why I love how the, the, the administration keeps using these words guidelines. It's actually not a law. It is guidelines. Oh. And um, so we follow these guidelines and we, you know, we keep tabs on our closest friends and like with Natalie, when we did that video, we kept our distance. But, you know, I still went into her home. And right when I walked in the home, I sanitized my hands. And I wiped down my phone uh, with a, a Lysol rag or whatever you call it, a wipe. And I gave it to her because we recorded on my phone. I just handed it to her. And, and we kept our distance. And, but we also kind of have calls like, so have you been around anybody? You know, before I get with somebody, you just kind of ask those questions. Be- you know what I mean? And so that's well, yeah. really been helpful. Good. We've talked about that too. You know, I've, I've got a wife who has some serious health issues and if she were to get it, she's in that category where it would be an issue and that's scary for us. And we yeah. take that yep. seriously. But also at the same time, like I still have to go get groceries. I'm at the store or yes. I'm just like, oh, no. And there's no avoiding that. I mean, you can't completely be around zero people. That's just, it's, it's impossible unless you've prepped for the next however, you know, long and you've, you've got a, a bunker full of the food and things you need, but, um, but then you can go the opposite direction too, right? Some people are kind of just laughing in the face of, of being smart and they're throwing parties and getting people together. And it's like, that's, that's being responsible. <laughs> just like you said, like yeah. you can't, we have this, we have faith in God and he's got it, but that doesn't mean I'm going to test it and step off a cliff and go, all right, God, are you going to make me fly? Yeah. So I think that's right. That's, and that's, yeah, go ahead, Rachel. Oh, no, no, go ahead. You, you, can, you can go. I was going to say that, you know, like, so one of our close friends around here is Chad from Unspoken, you know, and so one of the things we've been doing is um, going on bike rides, me, him, his wife, you know, but we keep tabs on each other, you know, and they live kind of pretty close to us. And um, it's just, you know, like you said, when someone's at risk, that's why you have to ask the question. If someone has an autoimmune my father right now would be the last person that I'd want to see during this COVID thing because his, you know, his health is can't handle that. You know, my grand, I, I, my grandfather, you know, we, we were expecting him to pass away, um, but he passed away right at the beginning of this. And um, we can't go see our grandma because I'd respect for her, you know? So uh, it's, these are things where with, and my other grandma has cancer right now. So you don't want to go and she's doing chemo treatments. You do not want to go, make these random trips and just see people and you can potentially devastate their lives. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, lo- I love that. 
Have you guys been able to, to grieve the, the loss of him? Because that's something that's been an issue for a lot of people right now is, I mean, it, people are, are passing, you know, if, because of the, uh, the virus or just because of, of life and not being able to get together and, you know, celebrate the life of their, their loved ones. It's like one or two people are going, seeing the casket, and that's, that's it. That's yeah. Crazy. And we had to put our grandfather's – it's interesting because the day he passed away, and we knew – you know, he lived a lot longer than we expected him to live. And, and I'm not trying to sound uh, – because he just had so many health issues. And, and so we were kind of expecting it. And when he did, though, it happened the day that, you know, I was in Connecticut and they canceled that show. Then my entire spring tour ended up canceling. And, um, I, and I'll tell you this, like, we haven't been able to gather as a family. We're going to. We've had to push it off. There's a lot of funerals being pushed off right now. And so – but um, I just, I have, I'm appreciative of how it's being handled right now and how people are coming together, how we are unifying. Um, and I, I believe that God's using this too. Yeah, we do too. We, do too. we see it from, from each other. We see it in the stories that keep coming out in the news and people looking out for each other. Um, we've gotten a lot more selfishly really cool worship worship sessions with our with our artists like you know you and uh matthew yeah. West is stuff at home too and kind of, you know for for us who don't get to see you guys on a regular basis it's it's almost uh it's almost better because we get more more stuff through facebook live and and, and little so. treats here and there yeah yeah okay so can i just point this out you're outside danny right yep is it because of the children Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Because of the children. I'm only asking because I'm locked away in a room because of the children. How many so, kids do you have? I have four. Yes, yeah, so I have four as well. Yeah. Four daughters. Yeah. What are the ages? Uh so I have a ten year old, a nine year old, a five year old, and a two year old. Wow. So you're right there in the middle. We have a seven, five, two, and eight months. So we have three boys and a girl. And they're such a joy to us, but they're loud, really loud. Oh, so loud. I was like, he must be outside because of those kids. Not that we love them. They're amazing, but they're so loud. But, see, so not but they're amazing. I hear them yelling in the background sometimes, and Rachel's like, oh, no, they're going to get hurt on the radio. I'm like, I love it. It's great. <laughs> you just hear loud, chaotic joy in, in the background. It's, you know, it, I'm sure. Let me tell you. As a parent, but it's all good on this end. So I'm in my screen porch. So this is our little yeah. screen porch. Yeah. Right there is the door to my room. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Uh, do you see yeah. that door? And I heard them screaming loud this last interview and this interview. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> the anxiety. Yeah. Because they're in my room right now. <laughs> and they're like, probably destroying please. it. And I'm on an interview. And they're like, ah. I literally thought the last interview I had, I literally thought something really happened. And I'm like, someone's getting hurt, but I can't. And I know my wife's in there. My, my Her mom's in there, too. And so I'm like, okay, I know they have to have this. I'm locked right now, but it sounds like someone's dying in that room. We but of course, they were just screaming their brains out because that's what they do. Have we lost one or are we okay? Well, I, I think that uh, through all of this, there's going to be a new level of acceptance of, you know, people who are, are working from, from home and that family noise in the background is maybe going to become more normal, which is probably, probably a good thing. I think that's okay. All right. Well, Danny, if you can hear us, we, we yeah, lost you. Oh, okay, okay. Can you hear me? We lost you too. Yeah, we're we're just saying you probably got to probably got to let you get on to your your next one. But um, yep. we love you, and we're we're glad that you are are staying healthy. And um, you know, we're just we're grateful for for the encouragement you keep uh, keep giving us on on your end. Thank you guys, man. We could talk for a long time. I really, enjoy, I honestly, really enjoy this time. But you guys, thanks for the ministry we do together. Thank you for partnering with me in ministry, and and I pray that your listeners are all safe. And I can't wait till we can all reconnect again. So love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Love Jenny. you too. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Bye.